And trying to be where you're going to be tiny. You're going to be tied here, you're going to be tied there, with your lip. Oh my god, it's more or less the coaster I go. Though. No, it's not! <laughs> oh! oh so you, you are <laughs> a silhouette tie. What are you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what is this anymore? <laughs> Back to What's Safe Word? I'm Am. I'm Miss Christopher. And today we're doing a new bondage tie, which I haven't seen before. We're gonna go a little off the cuff today. We're gonna just pull this right out of our sleeves, and we're doing what is called a braided cuff tie. It's very similar to the cat's paw tie I do. But what it's really good is getting your hands. I mean, you're, you're physically getting your hands on it. This knot gives you something to grab onto. So where some cuffs can cut off circulation or get in the way of your hands or just block that blood in a really, really bad way, this one gives you something to hold onto to squeeze your hands and get that blood flowing. And it won't constrict around the wrist, causing them fatigue. And much like Christopher, it's also very pretty. <laughs> you're so pretty. Good save. <laughs> Wait a sec. Catch! Oh! <laughs> hey, can I see me juggle? Sure. What? Wow. Oh. Wow. Great. I'm juggling. That's not 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 juggling. Ah! Wow! And so for the braided cuff tie, you'll need two pieces of 15 foot rope. And I'll be doing the tying today. Oh, yay! Because you trust me. Hey, daddy. What? Give. Da daddy. No sugar cubes. <laughs> Nay! <laughs> That's enough horsing around from you. <laughs> the first step for the braided cuff tie is taking one of your pieces of rope and finding the bite. We'll just put the other one over there for now. Um, Sorry, that was almost a hairy situation. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Find your bite. And then you're going to ask your willing participant how they're doing today. How are you doing today? I'm good. You want to just give me a thumbs up? Just, yeah. Take that bite and wrap it around their thumb. <laughs> just like so. Can I Let use me... a different finger? Why? No. <laughs> Don't get us demonetized. I mean, we're going to be demonetized anyway. anyway. Yeah, well. Making sure that there's enough slack around that thumb because we are going to be pulling the loop off that later. Do I have your consent? Yes, you have my consent. Okay. Now that we've gotten that out of the way. So moving down here, we're gonna wrap around once, coming underneath that first wrap, and up, and we're gonna go around the fingers, between the thumb and the fingers, going down. We're making a nice braided look here, and we're gonna go right around the wrist again, going up and around the fingers, making sure that it's not too tight so that we don't cut off circulation, and this isn't uncomfortable for your bottom. I mean, willing participant. Daddy. Da daddy. Although you don't have to call all your willing participants daddy, that, that, that gets messy very quickly. Anyway, <laughs> continuing one last time to go between the thumb and the finger. And when you're doing this tie, it's important you alternate the direction you're going in each wrap. So you have a total of six wraps around the back of your hand before making the lock in the front. Bring that hand up. We are gonna go ahead and take that loop off the thumb. Very carefully, very carefully. <laughs> Ugh. That wasn't bad. Bringing the loop between the thumbs and the finger, we're gonna bring our ends through that loop and tighten. And then from here, we are gonna make one little loop and pull our ends underneath in between the rope and the fingers. And then through that loop and tightening to lock it down. And now we have a nice little handle. Yeah, and it helps if the, that looped knot sits in the ball of their hand, so if they close their hand, they have something to hold on to. So you can put that between the fingers or between the fingers and the thumb, whatever is more comfortable for your bottom, submissive daddy. From the back, it has that nice braided look, and that's why it's called a braided cuff tie. I feel like Beyonce. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Do not kill yourself, because I still need to tie up your other hand. <laughs> Cue the sped up, Cue the time lapse. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> and there you have it. Now that we have both of those cuffs tied, you're what are you? What are you? You can make them a puppet. 
I'm a little wooden oh, boy. You're da. dangerous. Da. Oh, Jesus. Look out for the lights, please. Now that we have both of these cuffs tied, we're gonna go ahead and find conveniently placed tie-off points and just connect them. You know, just so, just so daddy isn't gonna hurt anyone. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Give me that. <laughs> you're in danger. See, it's actually extremely comfortable. Yeah? You could be here for a few hours? Oh. Yeah, no one's buying it. <laughs> And there you have it. That is our braided cuff tie here. Uh, I actually found this tie from Zeb Rope Work. I'll leave a link down below to his site. He has some great ties, but we really like this tie. It's really pretty. It works really well, and it gives you a nice, a nice point to just grab, like grr, grr, mm. just grab, just mm. grab wherever. <laughs> but whether you're doing the tie or you're a little tied up, like certain people, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is Rapunzel. Because. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> no, she had, and I'll braid it. she had pretty braids. <laughs> and that is it today on What's a Safe Word. I hope you guys enjoy this tie, and if you want to see more ties like this, leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see. If you want to leave a like down below, that's always helpful. So, why, why is that helpful? Because the more people who like us, the um, more monetization no, things. That's not, that's, I wish that was true. <laughs> But don't forget to also ring that bell because subscriptions, much like everything on YouTube, are broken. They don't work. Ring that bell. Okay, yeah, we get it. You like this? Ring the oh, bell. Oh my god. Ding dong. <laughs> That's, not, That's not how bells work. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time on What's the Safe Word. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, you're gonna hit it's something. Up. Urr, help me. Help me. Urr. All right. Am I just being static? Um, this is for the icon. This isn't a video. This is just the icon. So I want you to, like... <laughs> Maybe go like this. Oh, no, like, let's show the... Oh.